Hey everybody, I'm Sigari. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a macro in King's Raid to use your natural stamina regen to farm whatever you need, whether it's just using your natural stamina and farming for items, gear, gold, or event tickets. I hope that you enjoy this video and I hope it helps you get to be better at King's Raid. This video will work for you overnight or anywhere else that, you know, you need to you need to play King's Raid. So, what we've got here is we've got everything all set up. We've got our hero on the stage that it wants to complete. And we've got our inventory is empty. Okay. So, well, empty, meaning that we have enough space to do a, a run. So, to begin using a macro, you use the, uh, we're using the Nox macro system. And you can find that by going to your Nox bar on the right. And you just scroll down and you find the thing with the mouse and the outline with the little plus symbol in it, or a uh, play symbol in it. And that will be how you get started with making your macro. Open that, and then all you need to do is you just need to go to your macro recorder, hit play, and then don't touch anything until you're ready to begin. So down in the bottom right corner here, hit prepare battle. Wait just a moment, then hit get ready for battle. Wait just a moment, then hit start battle. Start your clock when battle starts, okay? When, when, when you get to the start screen because we're timing how long it takes for us to do a full macro cycle, all right, from the start of battle because this is when your stamina begins being consumed. Extra time between when you end the stage. So we need that time, all right? We're going to try and use as much of our natural stamina as we can to complete a stage. So as we continue on, the timer goes up. Keep in mind that Nox occasionally will pause. So all you want to do is you just want to find the place on the screen where it might click pause and just tap that occasionally during the fight. You don't have to do it often. Uh, I just do it two or three times. There's a thing at the end that I'll explain to you uh, as to why we do that, okay? But Nox has this habit of pausing occasionally, so just get your mouse over that position. Uh, if you are curious where it pauses, you can always hit the pause button in the upper right-hand corner and then put maybe like a little sticky note or something on your monitor and figure out what uh, where the location is, and then you just want to click that a few times. Every 20 seconds is probably sufficient. Now, when you're doing this run, you're looking for the most consistent team that you could possibly have to complete it regularly within a specific time. I know that this team takes me about a minute, 35 seconds to complete the stage every time. Even still, what we want to do is we want to see 137 is when it ended. Even still, we still want to give the game time for variance to occur. So at this point, we're no longer clicking and we're just going to sit here and wait 30 seconds to get any kind of issue or buffer, all right? Uh, if there was an issue in the stage, maybe somebody died, that can be bad. If you die, your macro is not going to work. So don't, don't let that happen. Okay, so we've completed the stage. We're going to let all of our loot appear. And then we're going to move the mouse down to an, a location that's not in the loot window. And we're going to click. We're going to wait a moment. And then we're going to click inventory. All right. From there, you're going to wait another moment. You're going to click sell. You're going to click sell all. Now, you should have your sell all window configured the way that you want it to be configured. Then you're going to click sell. And then you're going to click sell again. It'll say sold. Then click back out. Now, click stop. And it'll say script saved. Wait 20 seconds and then click stop on your timer. Okay, 309. So now we have a figure to work with for our calculator. Once you've figured out how long a full complete cycle will take you, in my case, about three minutes, uh, three minutes, nine to be safe. We're going to open up our profile and you can open up your profile by clicking 
up here in the top left corner, and it'll open your profile and show you what your stamina recovery speed is. In my case, my stamina recovery speed is 38 seconds. So I go to my calculator, which I have open here, and I will type in 38 times the amount of stamina that the stage takes for two equals 1,596 seconds to get 42 stamina. Okay. Now, we're leaving this in seconds. And now what we're going to do is we're going to take three minutes and nine seconds and subtract that from 1,596. So that will be minus 189. Okay. 189 seconds. 60 seconds times three is 180 plus nine is 189 equals 1407 okay in your record macro function click the gear this opens the options for the macro first rename your macro to whatever you want main team 710 okay so then you know what your macro is or you could it's for main 710 like that something simple loop until stop button is pressed that means that your macro will keep running until you tell it to stop. Under interval, you will type 1407. That means that the macro will run according to our calculator, 1407 divided by 60, every 23.45 minutes, your macro will run again. All right, and that will keep you running and gathering all of your loot and whatever you need for you. So this has been a quick guide on how to set up your macro. Be sure to click save afterwards. And then all you need to do is just hit the play button and watch your macro run for you. And there it is, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video is instructive. Have a great day. All right, there's nothing for me to clip, so that's it.